Summer camp is a tradition like no other, so it's no wonder there are a ton of movies immortalizing the experience. Hi, my name is Ryan from the Camp Leaders team, and today we're going to count down our top 10 summer camp movies. Now, don't worry, they're not all going to be true representations. Some are good to watch just for a little bit of fun. So stick with us as we count down the top 10. Number 10 is American Pie Band Camp. Now this version of American Pie follows the story of Matt Stifler as he's sent away to band camp for the summer. He's sent away after sabotaging his high school band. Now this one is a little bit racier, so if you're looking for something a bit more adult and funny, definitely give it a watch. What's the... Look, he's getting no in trouble No standard again. issue Tall Oaks t-shirt and no beanie. I believe that's two points from Great Falls, Mr. Nelson. Number nine is Camp Rock. Camper mates and matets, I am holding the lineup for Final Jam. I am going to pin it up on the wall. Let me get out of the room before you all come and have a look at the whole Now, if you were born in the 90s like me, Camp Rock is probably one of your guilty pleasures. It follows the story of Michi Torres running around summer camp for her very first year with the Jonas Brothers. For us Brits, it was probably the first time we got our eyes opened to the summer camp experience. You'll be surprised how often you actually end up breaking out into song and dance at camp, but jokes aside, this film's got a really cool message of being true to yourself and having fun. If you're a fan of it, definitely check out the sequel. Number eight is holes. Hole each day. Five foot deep, five foot in diameter. Your shovel is your measuring stick. The longer it takes you to dig, the longer you'd be out in the hot sun. Now don't worry, your summer camp experience won't be anything like this movie. But we couldn't make a top ten list and not throw it in. It follows the story of Stanley Elnuts, who's falsely accused of a crime and sent away to Camp Green Lake. Now, unfortunately, Camp Greenlake has no lake, no fun activities like archery and rock climbing, and him and his friends have to spend the day digging holes. Don't worry, your summer camp experience won't be like this, but the film does bring up some really important points I mean, about yes, tradition, like history, and spending world. time yeah, with you friends. For no lizards? What are we digging for, that man? Like Mr. Sir said, are we digging to build some character? <laughs> <laughs> kind of Number seven is Wet time. Hot American Summer. God damn it, Katie, you're suffocating me. I'm choking, all right? Give me some breathing room. Well, I just want to spend some time with you, you know? It's our last day at camp. My butt itches. Now, this movie stars younger versions of Bradley Cooper, Paul Rudd, and Amy Poehler. It came out in the 2000s, but it's set at Camp Firewood in the 1980s. It follows a lot of crazy stories, waterfall rescues, and love triangles throughout their time as they try and resolve all of the action from the summer. Now, there's a lot going on, talking vegetable cans, and it's definitely not a true representation of camp, but if you're looking for a bit of escapism and a good laugh, it's definitely one to watch. Each and every one of us is a crew member here on Spaceship Earth. <laughs> when, when will we say that? Anytime. Dinner, literally any time. Okay, ready? Number six is Ernest now. Goes to Camp. Now this movie follows Ernest, who you may recognize his voice as he voices Slinky the dog from Toy Story. He's the maintenance man at Camp Kikaki, but he's always wanted to be a camp counselor. Now, after saving a young boy from drowning, he gets his big break and is allowed to step up and be a camp counselor for the summer. Hilarity ensues as somehow he ends up managing to put camp up for sale, and it somehow manages to nearly get demolished. Although we hope you never accidentally sell your camp to be demolished, we do hope you find your true potential and make a difference to your camp. Ready? It's a flick! Now! Number five is Camp Nowhere. It's brilliant. No rules. We need an adult to pull it off. I'm an adult. Thank you very much. Technically. And no parents. She'd be gone for... This pre-teen comedy follows Mud as he's sent away for summer camp. Now, him and his friends don't want to go to the traditional camps that their parents want to send them to. Computer camp, weight loss camp, and drama camp. So they set about a plan to create their own camp. Camp Nowhere. At Camp Nowhere, there are no parent days, so they can't figure out their genius plan. 
However, halfway through the summer, the parents demand to come and visit them. This is when the fun starts and they have to scramble together to get ready for parents day. Now camp leaders don't work with any camps without any adults. So don't worry, when you watch this film, you'll kind of get why. Thank God, that was close. Number four is Adam's family values. Camp Chippewa, how charming. What's Chippewa? It's an old Indian word. It means orphan. Fresh air, the scent. Now this pine. sequel to the hit comedy Adam's Family follows Wednesday and Pugsley as they're sent Everybody, off to summer camp I'm against Gary their own Ranger. will. And I'm Becky Martin Granger. Now, just before they're sent off to camp, they suspect that their new nanny, Debbie, is evil and after Uncle Fester's money. But no one wants to hear it and they get shipped off to camp anyway. Here they're dealing with a bunch of rich, spoiled kids and they absolutely hate their time at camp. This movie forces us to reconsider our conceptions of weird, which being at camp will definitely do. It also subverts the idea of what is an ideal family. <laughs> Number world. three is Moonrise Kingdom. Adventure, comedy, romance, Bruce Willis, and you might find yourself moved to tears. It's called Moonrise Kingdom. Why? Why? I don't know. I don't know. What's that? Huh? Those milk duds? Yes, sir. No outside candy. Take those away and sell them a jelly beans. Give me that. Any other broken rules? No. This coming of age tale, directed by Wes Anderson, so you know you're in for a visual masterpiece. This movie evokes themes of mental health, sexuality, and adventure, and it got critical acclaim for its soundtrack and visuals. Moonrise Kingdom tells really important stories about adventure, and hopefully you'll have some you during have your summer camp sense? experience. You can't do this. They'll eat them alive in there. Where? Say the place again. Juvenile refuge. Juvenile refuge. Okay. Number two go. is the parent trap. Now the question is, how do I get it out? Now this is a classic. So much so, when you start a camp leader's application, we usually ask if you've seen it. It follows the story of Annie and Hallie, both played by Lindsay Lohan, as they meet at summer camp for the very first time. Now, no spoilers alert, but they somehow hatch a plan to potentially get their parents back together. You'll have to watch to see what happens. This movie is packed full of fun pranks and things that you'll definitely get up to whilst at camp. Now, don't try everything you see in this movie because you'll definitely get into a bit of trouble, but it's definitely a classic and worth the watch. I can't handle this. I just, I just can't. I'm only one kid. You got something you want to share with the class there, Hal? Just you. You gave me a fright. I gave you a fright? Number one is right. heavyweights. Let's go get our hands dirty. Glide! 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 Hey, get your foot off the ground! Concentrate! Now, when school ends for the summer, little camper Jerry is sent away to Camp Hope. Now, Camp Hope is a specialist camp for those children who are looking to lose a little bit of weight. Now, unfortunately for Jerry and his friends, the camp gets purchased by a fitness guru. He basically turns the camp into one huge infomercial for his new gym and fitness program. This classic 90s shenanigans film will show you how much fun you can have at camp. And it's got a really important message. Having fun is way more important than winning. Okay, turn on the camera. <laughs> Josh Birnbaum, All step right. on up. Get on the scale, son. <laughs> All right. Get off the scale. Okay, then. Turn off the camera. So there you have it, our top summer camp movies. What did you think of our list? Did we miss any out? Let us know your favorite in the comments below. If you like this video and you want to see more camp and travel content, make sure you like this video and hit subscribe.